Okay, in today's video, what I want to do is go over some of the Fibonacci tools inside of Thinkorswim. And there are two ways to actually get to the tools. You can either go to Drawings and then click on Drawing Tools, okay, and you'll see them over here. Or, slightly easier way is just click the middle mouse button and the same menu comes up. So we're just going to work with retracements and um, what they like to call extensions. But let's start with the retracements. So this is what you want to click on. All right. And then you'll click on, for example, a high to low swing to run those retracements. OK. And then if you've never used these before, you might not have the right ratios. So what you'll have to do is then right click on top of one of these lines that has shown up click on edit properties and then make sure that you add all of the ratios here actually I'll probably just go ahead and add that 236 there also okay so then once you add all of those ratios click OK and um, they'll all show up and then of course you can do multiple retracements I mean we could also run a retracement of this high to low and even the lower high to low and so on okay but that's where you'll find your uh, retracement tool but it's also going to be the tool that you're going to use for extensions okay so let me actually get rid of these let's clear the drawing set here okay so an extension is essentially a retracement beyond 100 percent so to run an extension we can look at we're still using the retracement tool you can click on the high to the low Okay, and then you can see that the retracements are also here on this same tool. So the 1272 extension uh, in this case is 192.68. The 1618 would be at 20 or 211.91. Okay, now one other thing though that I didn't show you just yet. Let's take a look at the, um, whoops, let's get rid of this. Okay, so we're going to go to the um, chart settings. And then what you do want to see is snap drawings to open high, low, close. Okay, that'll help you get the right um, high to low. It should help snap to it. I still don't think it's going to be the same as what I have on um, Dynamic Trader, but at least it should get you closer. And then let's get rid of these lines. So I'm going to clear the drawing set. All right, then let's bring up the drawing tool for the projections. Okay, so here, middle mouse click. And then this is what they call the extension tool, but I don't run extensions with it. I run projections with it. That's what gets confusing. But all you need to know is to run symmetry or projections, you use the tool that allows you to choose three points, and that is this one. They call it the extension tool. So we're going to click on this, and let's compare swings in the same direction. So for example, Let's take this low to this high, okay, and then project from this low. Okay, so I'm comparing these two swings in the same direction. Okay, you have a projection at the 237.86 area, you know, and you would do it for the other swings also. So you can run this low to this high, project from the low, and so on. Oh, okay, there's some resistance right there. And what you need to do if you've never used this tool before, again, just see what lines they have on there, you know, as a default, and then right click on one of them. Whoops, you have to get right on top of it. Go to Edit Properties, and for projections, I always use 100%, and then I sometimes use 1618. Okay, so those are the two that I would choose here. Once you have that set up, click OK. And, um, you know, those are just the basics as far as. Um, as those tools are concerned. Remember that this is the retracement tool that will do retracements and extensions of prior swings. This is what they call the extension tool, but this is what runs the projections and especially the most important one, which is symmetry. So hope that helps. Just let me know if you have any questions.